Ah, was that snow today? Was that sleet or hail? It was actually kind of a combination of almost all three with convective showers, very similar to spring. It's sunny one moment. Five minutes later, you're coating the ground just a little bit. This is the Nampa area today, and this was the case across much of the valley today. Scattered snow showers got a little white, and then it would melt and dry on off, and then more showers would come on in. I'll tell you what, a lot of the snow falling in the higher elevations is beginning to pile up a little bit more. We'll show you that in a moment. I want to show you the snowpack numbers to see how how we're doing. We were kind of losing ground here, not keeping up with the snow we had early in the season, but we're still 103 in Boise. That's 3% above average. We saw gains in southeast Idaho and down to the south here, still 18% above average in the big and little wood basins. This yellow area means we're just abnormally dry, not at a drop for the Payette Basin and Boise Basin. We're slightly below average with the precipitation. We're going to get a nice shot of moisture. I think these numbers will be creeping up over the next week or two. All right, here's the situation. We've got a low pressure system here, big core of cold air, but rotating around this low pressure, there's a low pressure right in here. So there's little small disturbances. There's another one coming in down to the south here, and it's causing very erratic weather across the west. That's why we have the sunshine. We have cold air aloft, and it causes the showers and snow showers to develop during the day. This major low is going to drive down to the south here, and southern California is going to be getting hit. Most of California, the higher elevations will be getting some pretty heavy snow coming on in. Well, the valley, we get the snow no, it kind of comes and melts, but in the mountains when it occurs, this is all Highway 55 here in Smith's Ferry was completely snow covered, and now it's melting off a little bit. So these bursts of snow are causing that issue. There's been two inches of snow in McCall, about an inch and a half at uh, Tamarack Resort, uh, some snow showers at the Bogus Basin area. This is Tamarack Resort here during the afternoon, showing that about inch and a half, uh, almost two inches of snow falling. So good for the ski areas that we're going to continue to see uh, bursts of snow coming through, especially through tonight and tomorrow. Here's the future cast. There's a little organized area of snow showers that instead of dying out, when the sun goes down and that heating disappears may hold together and as the temperatures drop that means we can get a covering of snow on the roadways that could be an issue we're gonna have to watch tomorrow morning for the morning commute the possibility of slick conditions and then those snow showers will continue tomorrow we could focus some snow three to five inches could fall on the upper Weezer River Basin where there's a winter weather advisory this is what the chart shows see the blue here favoring the western part of the valley this is where we could have some icy conditions tomorrow morning so just plan on it. The possibility is certainly there and we're going to keep periodic snow falling in the higher elevations. Take a look at this winter winter storm warnings in all the pink areas here. This is a blizzard warning. This is a blizzard warning and look at Southern California just north of Los Angeles blizzard warning at 3000 feet up to three feet of snow up to six feet of snow likely in those higher elevations in Central California. Amazing and significant snow for next week and the week after could be falling in Central Idaho. So tomorrow Tomorrow, snow showers, watch out for the potential for slick roads in the morning, gusty wind, temperatures going into the 30s, another very changeable day tomorrow. In the Central Mountains, there could be one or two inches of snow, maybe two to three inches in a few locations as well. Here's my extended forecast, the coldest day tomorrow. The mornings are going to stay cold. We'll warm up to near 50 on Saturday, not a bad day. And then colder temperatures come in with a chance for snow definitely in the mountains and maybe even into the Treasure Valley at the beginning of next week.